If I'm pumping clean water out of the tank, <clears throat> I've got warrant in there. That's supposed to be a residual for water hemp and, and regular weeds, but it's supposed to work very good for water hemp. I got volunteer as a grass killer in soybeans, and uh, it'll also kill corn, and it's also a great product for alfalfa if you got, like we got every spring crabgrass and quackgrass coming through real early in the alfalfa, go out with some volunteer and you smoke them grasses pretty good. And then uh, the old Ultra Blazer, that's supposed to take care of water hemp and them kind of weeds. And then there is a product, if I get to a field that has a lot of lamb's quarter, there's a product called Voltra that I use. Volta, I'm sorry, Volta. And, uh, comes in just a little jug like that it's one twelfth of an ounce per acre <laughs> and so that works supposed to work really good for lambs quarter I'll let that pump pump down and I got a one more refill of the warrant and then then just pump her up with water all right well we finally made it to the field Just cruising along. I didn't even reset my guidance line because I I can count. I can count rows. I don't know what happened here. Well, I suppose it's been long enough that some of the chemical in them spots kind of, you know, a little bit of water, some rainwater helps some of these residual chemicals do a better job but on ponding spots I suppose it just dilutes it away it feels too rough to really get it going you can see the the four chunks to the sprayer the little black lines in the green bar are the sections. I can shut them off up here manually, but as I come into the headland, as we're getting close, they'll shut off and click, click, there it shut off. I might have to look at my look ahead features. And click, go back on. It takes a half a second to build the pressure up in the boom. But that's all right. That allows me with that swath control. That is so nice. It just, then I just drive, you know what I mean? Yeah, I love that computer. But I just got this little chunk here. I just got that little bit there to finish. And uh, you can see right on the edge is where I came down along the woods. The barn got flattened, the landlord's barn got flattened during the tornado, so his barn and then two barns right across the road got flattened and that stave silo just above that gray shed, that stave silo slid about six inches on its foundation, uh, but it didn't tip over, so I don't know what they're gonna do yet. But yeah, just spread beads today. I can't wait to be done with chemicals. Dear God, I can't wait to be done with most chemicals. Second. Click. That one section shuts off. Ah. Minimizes cost, minimizes crop damage from over application of product. Yeah, what a fantastic little computer. What a beautiful day. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. What a great day. It didn't start out great. 
I had a lot of crying going on, a lot of cussing and swearing, um, things I don't normally put on camera. All right, we fold her up. I think I can kind of just stop right there. No. Uh, fold her up. That's good enough. I just gotta get through this drive, that's all. back down. A little bit of a pain in the butt. Someday if I get a long-term contract from this landlord, I'll cut this tree line you see here down and uh, that'll turn then the field on the back side all the way over to them, over to them trees would run you make one huge field, you know what I mean? That'd be nice.